you know many people want to become something overnight without having done the work for instance when you go to a job interview you always hear this thing track record you know track record is to say what have you done in the past and then with that in mind we would assume you would achieve what we want you to come and do you see it's easy to explain that to someone but it's difficult for us to explain that to ourselves because most of us want to achieve success overnight without the track record without the hard work without the laid foundation without the incremental progress day after day you know they say success is not a sprint it's a marathon it's a journey it takes steps usually it takes practice concentration focus if you've read the book the power of concentration you would understand how people succeed how people become something it never happens overnight you know for every one success there's more than 10 failures so don't beat yourself up when things are not going your way immediately when things are not happening the way you want them to it takes time it's a gradual process day after day but keep working on it you know they say in order to accomplish anything we must build the power of concentration to make success of anything anything at all you should be able to concentrate your entire thought on that one thing only that one idea you know they want to say master of or when they say jack of all trade master of none most people who know who are successful are successful in one area in their life they might be failures in their marriages and everything but they're very successful in one thing and we recognize and celebrate them for that thing so don't run and chase other things because that's what people around you are doing and you feel you have to do it look for that thing you gifted and that's what steve harvey says he says look for what you're gifted in not necessarily what you're interested in not necessarily what you like to do not necessarily what people around you are doing but what you believe you have the gift for and that thing you can work on it gradually day by day time by time week by week until it materializes onto what it should be so work on your goal do not be discouraged if you, if, if you fail or if you can't focus when you start there's very few people who can do something who can hold your focus and concentration especially when things are not going to plan you know how it is the minute you want to focus on something meaningful something irrelevant comes to your mind because it's fun to do and, and you realize most things you spend your life trying to do they have the very they have less meaning to your life of course they're very fun things to do but they bring very limited meaning to your life of course they're easy to do because you you don't need the use of your brain but you hardly grow in this thing they say no one grows in their comfort zone we grow when we go through stress we grow when we put ourselves through pressure we grow through that's why when you go for a job interview they ask you can you work under pressure can you work under pressure that is because they believe if you've worked under pressure before you have grown you have the capacity to do more so always start small and soon you would be able to override your mind by focusing on your idea by focusing on the things that would help you grow and then you start cutting out those distractions the ones when you can you know when you can focus only on those things that bring meaningful to your meaning to your life those things that help you grow and then you can stay on them and that's how you start making progress day after day it does not come overnight it takes practice like everything you can't go in school today from grade one to grade six you have to go through two three four it's a progression so if you know everything around you it's progression why do you ask yourself for perfection from the very start everybody everyone needs to grow you know we human we are wonderful creature you know but we need training to develop 
we need training to become useful to ourselves. There is there, there's, there's no one no one has superior power over you or no one has the the access to superior power in the world. Everyone needs training to become better. You know, there's two types of people in anything we do. There are those who are trained and those who are untrained. I think there's a Washington set this in um, one of the movies. There is trained and untrained mind in anything you do. With training, you become special. You become extraordinary. And only then can you discover the real you, the real power inside you. You know, we, we can accomplish more from focus than from strength. All our real growth must come from us, within us. You know, the word education, I keep saying, comes from the word educo, which means in Latin, induce. Induce means it comes from within you. So everyone could become something they want to become by focusing on it, by bringing it out from them by inducing themselves you know they say it's self-imposed you can't become anything from being taught except you are willing to accept you are willing to accept so be that person be that person who uses the power of focus to become something be that person who uses the power of focus to grow be that person who does not allow distraction uh, procrastination um time on on different social media platform to absorb your time give more time to things that will help you go things that will challenge you things that will make you become better in anything you do and don't be that person who chases what every other person around you is doing be that person who is willing to pick something and give it a go 100 percent you will see yourself you start becoming better you start growing you start advancing because everything you give time to grow just like plant you water it more it grows you anything you give time to grow so give time to that thing you think is your passion that thing you think you can become better that thing you think you're willing to become the best thing Carl Newport talks about deep power you know the power of focus, the, the the power of or he calls it capital, he calls it human capital, and he's saying that in the sense of not financial, of course financial matters, but in sense of experience, the sense of overcoming, the sense of learned experience. That's what human capital is. So give yourself time to build on your human capital, to develop, to become the best you can in that field. You can't go from zero to zero overnight. There's very few that can. But cut yourself some slack when you're not getting to your best, when you're not winning. But just hold yourself accountable and know that you will give everything you can till you become something. There is growth in repetition. There is growth in focus. There is growth in belief. There is growth in determination. There is growth in concentration. So use your power of concentration. No one has unlimited access to this. It comes through practice. It comes through repetition. It comes through commitment. So commit on those things that challenges you. Commit on those things that help you. Commit on those things that bring meaning to your life. And you will see yourself.